Good day traders, you're welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to trade on Binance features. A complete guide on how to trade on Binance features and how you can participate in a BA market. That is how you can use a BA market to take advantage of it and trade the features market perfectly using Binance features. Remember, in this example, you can use it to trade any features market at all, either be on BitMEX or on OKEx or you know, on any other platform at all. So, in today's video, I'll be focusing on a step by step guide on how to trade Binance features. So, let's get into it. Ensure you stay to the end of the video. It's going to be a very exciting one and it's going to be very informative. So, watch till the end of the video let's dive into it but ensure you help subscribe to the channel hit that like button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload an informative content like this you get notified first okay so let's get into it remember this is remy trade academy the home of successful traders so if you have any question you have anything you want to access you want to get into our cryptocurrency training and mentorship program contact this very whatsapp line and you will get into class with me immediately or if you want to learn how to trade forex perfectly also contact the whatsapp line and get into class with me as well so let's dive into it now features contract now when we hear about features contract the word features contract means something that will happen in the future but the agreement we made today i repeat again something that will happen in the future but the agreement that has a contract will happen today let's move a little bit further a features contract is an agreement to buy or sell a commodity or financial assets at a predetermined price at a specific or specified date or time in the future very important the world predetermined and specified time or date in the future is very important when you're talking about a features contract so you are actually entering into an agreement if you are a seller you are entering into an agreement with a buyer or if you're a buyer you are entering into an agreement with a seller and you are taking that agreement so that in the future that agreement will be executed now, the futures contract market or the commodity futures market emanates as a result of companies we are, you know, running into big losses. So, the futures markets emanate as a result of the fact that companies use that to manage their risks and also hedge against position. Not only that, they also use it for leverage. Now, the futures market, just like the commodity market, is a very wide and, you know, interesting market to trade. But in this video, we'll be talking about Binance features only. So, let's move a little bit forward. Now, we have types of features contracts. We have the commodity features. This include physical assets. We have financial features, which means um, indices, forex, and cryptocurrencies in cryptocurrency we have that of binance features we have other features platform like bitmix and um, bitbuy and then i think okays as well so when you talk about commodity features we're looking at gold we're looking at coin we're looking at silver wheat and all those physical commodities so companies can actually enter into a deal with a supplier which is a seller to enter to buy a certain quantity of that product at a specified date in the future at a certain price based on the agreement which is the contract now we're talking about financial features this is just an underlying asset in monetary value financial features talks about an underlying asset in monetary value so instead of us exchanging physical assets we are now exchanging money so that is financial features so this is what binance features is all about that i said earlier ensure you stay to the end of the video because this video is very informative and it's going to help you and if not started off in features trading before at the end of the video i can guarantee you you will know how to trade features perfectly with a good basic and fundamental understanding let's take a little example into what features actually is no so let's say if the current price of sugar let's say for example 
the current price of sugar is fifty dollars let's say one pack of sugar is fifty dollars and a buyer decide to buy sugar from a seller in the future at the price of fifty dollars an agreement is rich that's the main thing an agreement is rich between the buyer and the seller then the price of sugar rise to hundred dollars at or before the due date it may it must not exceed the due date so the buyer will pay fifty dollars despite the current rise in the price of sugar because that was the agreed price between the buyer and the seller so the buyer will not be a massive profit because it was a features contract that has already taken place earlier and the price increase then it will be a massive profit because he's not paying at the current market price which is hundred dollar but he's paying at fifty dollars as at when the contract was reached or the agreement was reached if the current price of sugar is fifty dollars and a seller decides to sell sugar to a buyer in the future at the price of fifty dollars an agreement is reached between the buyer and the seller then the price of sugar drops to ten dollars the price of sugar drops to ten dollars at or before the deal did not the buyer would pay fifty dollars despite the current drop in the price of sugar because that was the agreed price that was the agreed price so that is how features contract work it's just an agreement that is reached between the buyer and the seller at the present time but the contract the, the, the contract will be executed in the future so the same thing happens in binance features on the features market that is financial features now we're talking about commodity features this example is for commodity features so the same exact thing happened in binance features so let's say for example in this case this is uh, binance features so if you want to go to binance features if i can go back here i will go to um, fiat and spots so we're going to come to this interface if you want to go to the features exchange on binance you click on usd m features so you get it there get it there and then you this platform will open for you so the first thing you have to do here is you must understand that the features market is a highly volatile market and that if you don't have the understanding of what it takes to participate in the market just stay away the reason being that it is a very volatile and high risk market so and you should only participate in this market when you are very proficient in trading now if you need a one-on-one -on -one guide a one-on-one -on -one mentorship section in features trading don't hesitate to contact me check in the description below you will see a whatsapp contact just whatsapp me and get in class with me instantly so that there are some advanced tools that i will reveal to you i will get in touch with you and we are going to you know go through each of them step by step to help better your features trading decision so so the first thing you have to do when you want to trade on binance features or any other features market is to analyze your market properly you analyze the underlying assets so in this case we have btc usdt so you have to analyze this chart and ensure you are in the right direction of the market and ensure you're in the right direction of the market so once you are satisfied with your strategy that you're in the right direction of the market you can go ahead and place your trade so the first thing you do is to transfer some fund into your account so once the transfer is done you can now start trading so you go here click on transfer and then you can put the quantity of um, usdt here and then do your transfer okay so if i put some quantity here let's say let's say 20 dollars and i put 20 dollars and i confirm transfer transfer assets so more money has been added to my features balance i already have some money there before now so more money i've added to my features balance so i can go ahead and explain certain things in the, on this platform on this exchange for you to be able to know what you are doing now another thing is when you come to binance you see perpetual features and you see quarterly features now perpetual features means there is no expiry date that is perpetual features the difference between a perpetual features and a normal features contract you see on the commodity market is that that of commodity market have an expiry date for the contracts 
but that of perpetual features don't have an expiry date. That means you can take a features position and market goes in your favor and you close it. And you close it, that's how it works. So if you said market is going to go down, it means you are shorting the market. So you sell shorts. So if you, your prediction is that from this area, market will drop and market drops, that means you are shorting the market. You say short the market, that means you will be in profit. You'll be in profit as the market goes down. Now, if you say the market will go down and the market goes up against you, you'll be in loss. The same thing if you buy, that is buy or long. So when you buy, you long the market. So if you buy here and market move in your favor, you'll be in profit. The same thing as normal spot trading. And if you buy here and market go against you, you'll be in loss as well. So that means any direction the market goes, you will be in profit as far as you are in the futures market. Unlike this normal spot trading platform, where when the market is going down and if you don't convert your coin into a stable um, coin, you are the value of your assets will be reducing or depreciating or going down. So one important thing about futures trading is that it gives you the opportunity to participate in a bear market. So I encourage all traders to, to learn when you're advanced enough, you can as well try the futures market. And Remitude Academy have all it takes to train you very well to be a professional futures trader. All you need to do is get most of the advanced tool to use to stack the odd in your favor. So now, if you check here, we have, after you see BTC, USDT, perpetual features, and I said the difference between the perpetual features and the normal features is that a perpetual features have no expiry date. That means you can enter a position here to buy, market goes up in, in your favor, you close it and collect profit. Now, how here you see isolated? Now, these are margin position, now cross margin, or you see cross mode margin. Now, a cross margin means that, let's say, for example, you have $100 in your account, and out of that $100, you use $30 to enter a position. Now, if the trade is going against you, Binance will collect the remaining part, that is, the $70 remaining, to to feel something that will feel the position so that you can still be in that position, so that you can still hold that position. I repeat again, let's say for example you have $100 in your account and you enter a trade with $30 and the trade is going against you. Now when the trade is going against you, there is a point it will reach called the liquidation point where the $30 will be lost. But what Binance will do since you choose a cross margin, they will use the order $70 remaining in your futures account to ensure that the position is being hold so that you don't get liquidated. Now, when it comes to isolated margin, isolated margin means that, let's say, for example, you have $100 in your account, then you trade with $30. Now, if trade go against you, you will only lose that $30. That means if trade hits your liquidation point against you and it finally hits your liquidation point, you will lose only $30 and the remaining $70 will be in your account, which you will use to trade again. So I always advise especially beginner traders to use isolated margin. Very important. Use isolated margin is best for you at this stage. And it is also protective because you can only lose what you put down. That is the margin that you put down to, you know, hold that very position. Now we'll talk about leverage. Leverage helps amplify your profit in as much as it helps amplify your loss. So leverage is a two-edged sword. So a leverage is an advantage that you use to hold a position that with your normal account balance, you wouldn't have been able to hold it. So let's say, for example, you take a trade and the trade move 10%. Let's say you have $100 and you buy a coin with $100, the trade move 10%. Let's say you make $10. Now in the normal you know, spot trading exchange, you will make $10. But if you were trading on the futures exchange and you use, you know, the $100 and market move 10%, let's say, for example, you use a leverage of 5x, let's say you use a leverage of um, 5x, that means you are getting 5 times 10, that is $50 for that single move. Why someone on the spot exchange is making $10, you're making $50 because you use 5X. So leverage helps amplify your position. Remember, remember the same thing will happen if the market is going against you. If the market is going against you, it will amplify your losses times five 
as well. So that is how leverage work. Now, it is advisable that you should not use a leverage higher than 10, 10x. We advise all our students in our features class, don't use leverage more than, more than 10x. Anything leverage more than 10x, I consider it as gambling. You can try it. Maybe you, you want to just take a leverage that is up to maybe 100 leverage. I want to try it how it works. Sometimes it's almost, you know, any pain because the market will, will just decide to go against you at that time. And you, you will not know what actually caused it. So it's always advisable to choose a minimal leverage. Choose a minimal leverage. Reason why the cryptocurrency market is a volatile market already. That with normal spot trading, the cryptocurrency market is a volatile market. So trading on features is a highly volatile market. Okay, so don't choose a bigger leverage. Choose a leverage not more than 10x. So let's say I want to choose a leverage here of 5x and I confirm 5x. So I've choose isolated margin. 5x now if you come here you see market order you see limit order and some other types of order here so you can use any of, any of these type of orders to enter your features trade so for the purpose of this example i'll be using a direct market order to show you this example why i explain certain things for you as well so that you can be able to trade features either the market is going up or the market is coming down you take advantage on anywhere the market is going to that is the main advantage of trading features is give you that opportunity to trade anywhere the market is going all right so if you click on reduce only reduce only will only reduce your position not increase it why we have the take profit and stop loss where you can set it either after you place your trade or before you place your trade as well so if you click on take profit the reduce only will not be active anymore if you click on reduce only the tp will the tp and lsl will not also be active anymore all right so having said that i want to take a trade and i want to enter a long position i want to enter a long position with a market order so let me buy 0 0.001 bitcoin so if i buy 0 0.001 bitcoin and um so the cost 0 0.001 bitcoin cost me if it's check here it cost me 10.20 usdt this is the cost and then this is the btc max now if i click on buy long since i want to go long i click on buy long it means i'm seeing the market will go up and when the market goes up I will make money and since i'm trading on perpetual features contracts i can you know close my position at any time i can close my position at any time very important so i can now click buy long so if i click buy long say order submitted so i'm, I'm now in a order and it is a market order not a limit order it's a market order you can see the position here in running see the position here running okay so let me explain certain things to you using this very example in features trading now if you look at the margin ratio you see the margin ratio here now when the margin ratio is within this green area this green area it means you are still good you are still in the right side of the market there's nothing to worry about now if it go to the yellow area you need to be very careful now if it goes to the red area it means danger and you are about to be liquidated you're about to liquidate. so anywhere in this red area at this move from here cross this area it means you will be liquidated soon and you need to add some fun to your account to be able to hold that position or you face liquidation that's what it means that's what it means now if you if you see you see maintenance margin and margin balance now my margin balance is what i put down to open this very position i just opened right now i repeat myself my margin balance is what i put down now the margin balance is increasing and it decrease as well now my maintenance margin is this okay now the maintenance margin is the amount of collateral you must hold to keep the trading position open so if you if i click on this if i click on maintenance margin i see the minimum amount of margin balance required to keep your position open and then we have the 
margin balance. Margin balance equal uh, the, the wallet balance plus unrealized profit and loss. So your position will be liquidated once margin balance, this margin balance is less than or equal to maintenance margin. So if I'm losing and my loss move from nine from ten dollars to nine dollar eight dollar seven six five two one and to zero point two zero that's zero point twenty that has twenty cents i will be liquidated because my margin balance is now equal to my maintenance margin or if it is less than this value i will be liquidated that means liquidation means that i will lose this money i put down this ten dollars that i put down i will lose it Remember, I'm using isolated margin, so I will only lose this ten dollar, and the remaining money in my balance in my futures wallet will still be safe. So it is always advisable you use your isolated margin when trading futures perpetual. Very important. Now, if you look at this, this is my balance in my account. We have the unrealized PLL, and then we have uh, BNB. Now, the the PLL means profit and loss profits and loss that's what it stands for so when you have an open position on a perpetual features contract or market your pll is unrealized listen very very well your pll is unrealized which means it is still changing in response to market movement so when you close your position the unrealized profit and loss become realized because that is actually when you incur a loss or when you are liquidated so because the realized profit and loss refers to the profit or loss that originate from a close position it has no direct relation to the mark price i'll show you what the mark price is but only to the executed price of the order so it only affects the order so take note of the unrealized uh, pll and then the realized profit and loss as well so if you go here you see my position running right now i'm in negative 1.37 percent loss that is the roi on this very trade remember what i put down was 10.25 um, dollars as my margin this is my margin then the margin ratio now is 2.01 percent then my liquidation price that means if this market go against me to 4969 usdt price I will be liquidated. So you can see that it's very, very close. It's very, very close. So if you choose a small leverage, let's say for example, you choose a small leverage and you have a very big account, a big money in your account, then it means your liquidation point will not be that close to your entry price because that money in your account will help hold the market or hold the market start by bringing the liquidation point down. So that is how you treat the features market now if you look at here also this is my mark price so say the last the latest mark price for this contract this is the contract used for profit and loss and margin calculation and may differ from the last price for the purpose of avoiding price manipulation so if you want to look at the mark price very well the mark price is always used to avoid price manipulation for traders for traders so that is the mark price now this is the point where i enter the market this is my entry price which is 51.05 for usdt and this is the quantity of bitcoin that i buy 0.001 btc and this is leverage and this is btc usdt perpetual market and i have only one position open right here now if you look at here we have a calculator there's a calculator right here so if i bring up the calculator let's say for example you want to enter a trade you want to enter a trade let's say you want to long the market so you are you're using a, a 8x leverage let's say the, the price of which you enter the market the price of which you enter the market is forty-eight thousand usdt and the price you exit is fifty five thousand usdt now if if you are in this position then you want to go long so the quantity of bitcoin is 0 0.01 btc there is entered the position so if you press calculate remember it's a long position so you press calculate you will see your initial margin 
will be $60. That's what you will put down is your initial margin to open the position. Now your profit and loss will be 70 USDT and your return on equity is 116.67%. So that is how you pre-calculate your profit and loss as well. So same thing, if you want to calculate the liquidation price, you can go ahead and do the same thing. If you want to calculate the target price, you can put in the parameters. The mark open and the open price, you can also put in the parameters and you get those figures. So these help you, you know, predetermine your profit in the market when taking a features position. So this calculator is always a very helpful one. So you can as well use it to better your trade decision. So that is how you place a features contract. One more thing before we end the class now. You can always set your take profit and stop loss. So you can always set your take profit and stop loss when you are trying to enter a position. Remember this other book, you can also use your trick in reading the other book to know where the order flow is, where the order flow is. But one thing is very important when placing a features contract. Ensure you might have analyzed your chart very well. Ensure you do proper chart analysis. Ensure you do proper chart analysis and ensure you are in the right direction of the market. Now, you may not get it perfectly well, but at least 75% to 80% strategy that works fine is okay for you to trade the futures market. Remember, you must have a good psychology towards trading towards the market and ensure you use appropriate risk management to enter your position to better your risk and money management strategy. So that is that guys for this very video. This is the home of successful traders. If you need a complete mentorship section in cryptocurrency trading, check in the description. Like I said earlier, I have a fully organized training, a course on Binance features and how to use other advanced tools to better your trading decision. Check in the description below and you will see a WhatsApp contact to contact me immediately. Thank you very much guys for watching today's video and I will see you in the next series. Thank you.